Hi everyone, I'm Anthony from Fine and Country Northampton and today we have an interesting show for you because I have with me Stuart Hanlon from MDAR. His company imports all those wonderful home control systems that go in luxury houses. Hello Stuart, how are you? Thank I'm you for joining well, thank me. You. Nice to see you. So tell me, what is a digital building control system? It's very different from the classic wiring that we're used to. Uh, it's a radial system for fixtures, that's a control point, and it's a bus technology to all the glass control points around the property. So it's an infrastructure for controlling the entire property as a whole, rather than one lamp to one switch. So what can it do? What can it do, indeed? Uh, what can't it do is a shorter uh, question to answer. Really? What it can do is uh, window openers, blinds, shutters, re car revolves, heating circuits, air conditioning. Uh, we can boost heat recovery systems with it. We can integrate with building alarms so we can have a panic system or we can arm an alarm through it. wouldn't necessarily recommend disarming alarms, but I have got installers that do that. Uh, we can influence AV systems and media systems. And importantly, we can turn lights on and off. Wow, that's first. That seems to be quite a lot. And can these things be controlled remotely? Yes, off-site. Uh, as I say, the system I import, the Velva system, is very much the infrastructure for the building. Uh, what you're talking about is a software layer that goes over the top of all the assets of the property that hum harmonise all of the control into one central point. And yes, we can do that inside the house and also access it remotely. So you could be on holiday and decide that, yeah, absolutely, when you get off the plane, you are definitely going to go home, as opposed to visiting friends or relatives on the way. And when you get off the plane, your phone will geolocate back to the house and tell you back in, in the country. And you could uh, the software layer can create geofences at various points. And as you pass those geofences, various events can happen in the house, like simply turning the heating back on. So literally, you arrive at airport, turn the heating on, 20 miles away, do something else, one mile away, turn the kettle on. Absolutely. As much as that? Yes. I was if, actually if, joking, but it could no, no, that's that. absolutely possible. It's all down to imagination and budget and how much time and effort's put into the software environment. But if the infrastructure's right and you've got control of the kettle, then yes, absolutely. This is tomorrow as well stuff. It's today. Today, not tomorrow. Today. It's possible it's today. today. So, um, how is the system in, installed? Is it major, major job? Yes, or? absolutely. Yes, with anything like this, it is a back to brick or uh, from brownfield site installation. It it can be retrofitted, but you will be damaging the plaster. You will be lifting floorboards up. It's not for the faint hearted. But if you're doing a renovation anyway, and you're going to have to have a rewire, then rewire to a digital system rather than rewiring to the thing we've been doing for the last 50 years. So this is basically for new build or major renovation, really. Yes. Or if you're having, as you said, if you're having a house rewired, then you could actually have this installed at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Um, can, obviously this affects your heating. So with it controlling your, your heating system, can this have an effect on your EPC rating? Interestingly, up until the end of 2019, there was very little requirement for zoned heating. I mean, it was simply two zones, upstairs, downstairs. If you have a TRV, it was enough. The Part P was amended latter end of 2019, and it now calls for me electromechanical control of water to various zones. And yes, the digi most digital systems, and specifically the Velbus stuff I import, it is room by room zone control. So the granularity of the control is really fine. Uh, as an example, say you've got a six bedroom house but only three of them are used, the other three can be dormant and only call for heat when they are absolutely freezing cold and they're in antifreeze mode. Or you have your guests around and you just trigger that room for the period that your guests are in. So can you also program the system for different times of the day or different times of the year yes. or whatever? Yes. So literally you could have evening mode and it will draw the curtains, turn the heating up a bit. Yes, and the nice thing about the digital system is uh, certainly with the Velbus things that I import where it is one small 82 millimeter square glass panel with anything from one button to a matrix of uh, eight to four, with 32 buttons effectively. You can have it where one touch of one button is enough to trigger a scene 
And that scene can be turn my main lights to 50%, draw my curtains, lower the sunshade, retract the awning, uh, set the heating to a different mode. And then you can use that event within an AV system and say, turn the projector on, lower the screen, uh, put the music to a certain level, select a particular channel on your preferred media stream. And it, again, one button. So really, uh, a lot of modern LED lights can also have different temperatures. You can have yes. cool, you can have warm. So if you want uh, a warm evening guest round for drinks, mm -hmm. you can just have, have all the settings in one go. Yes. Well, as an example of that, I, we've got an early adopter of the technology, and he, he was very, very forward thinking. And he had lots of different lighting circuits in each room, and he didn't want lots and lots of buttons. In every room, he wanted four buttons, and all four buttons were to be programmed the same in every room. And they were off, day, night, relaxation. Wow. And it doesn't matter which room he goes into, he knows that top right-hand corner is relaxation mode. Very wise, very yeah. wise. Now, uh, at Fine and Country, we deal with a lot of the larger properties. So we have many properties that are three, four, five thousand square feet. This is something that could be of interest to people with larger houses, with many rooms or larger areas, because the saving on being able to control the zones would be greater for them. Oh, yes. As yeah. well as the convenience. Yes. I mean, using a commercial application as an example, we had a customer that had 250 offices and from a community boiler system. And by getting the occupants of each office to schedule their arrivals, they were saving three euros and 20 cents every single day that they would otherwise have had the heating on. So they were going to uh, amortize the cost of the installation over 10 years. Just through the savings of energy, they repaid the entire cost in two and a half years. Now that's an extreme, but if you aggressively schedule and profile your heating, then yes, there are savings to be made. Mm. I think we should go into that in more depth. So that's another video. In upcoming cool. videos, what else are we going to cover? Okay, I think we should go into the heating and the granularization and the control and the scheduling on one. That's something that people should be aware of. Uh, we've got architectural lighting. There are lots and lots of different options out there and there's lots of varieties, so let's talk about that. Uh, AV systems, uh, not specifically to do with Velbus, but we can certainly talk about how we can detect presence in a room and move audio around. That's something we can maybe talk about. No, oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So I think we'll leave it for today and then we'll go into the uh, technical side in upcoming videos. So that's all for this video. We'll be going into the other subjects in depth in upcoming videos. If you're interested in anything that Stuart has had to say and you'd like to get in touch with him, his details will be in the links below. And as always, if you're interested in buying, selling, investing or renovating, please feel free to contact me anytime on the details below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.